Oh, good afternoon. <laughs> it is chilly in here, isn't it? <laughs> Let me see fingers. How many of you have, would have wanted to put on an extra sweater now? Ah, quite a few, I see. <laughs> but today I'd like to convince you that it's not a good idea to do so. I'd like you to convince you that you, to, that you should take off some clothes. Please follow the example. Do it now. <laughs> but stop somewhere. <laughs> that would be good idea. Okay, let me tell you why it's a good idea to lower the temperature in your house or here. Well, my mother has been overweight ever since I was a kid. And my father is also not particularly skinny. And I've also put on some weight in the recent years. Well, being overweight is not a very big problem, but it causes in a lot of cases a reduction in self-esteem. But being overweight can turn into obesity. And obesity is a risk factor for diabetes and heart disease. So, both of my parents are now officially diabetics, and they take medication to control their diabetes every day, to control their blood sugar levels, and hopefully prevent a future heart attack. But did you know that in the Netherlands, 50% of the adults are overweight? And in America, it's even 75%? So we know from television that people in Africa they die because they are being underfed. There is not enough to eat. But ironically, in the whole world, obesity kills more people. So your body weight is quite simply determined by the number of calories that you eat and the number of calories that you burn. So when you eat more than you burn, you have a positive energy balance and you'll gain weight. Oh, that's very simple. So why don't we all reduce our food intake? Well, that's relatively simple as well, because food is literally available at every corner of the street. And the cheapest food is very unhealthy, contains a lot of carbs and a lot of fatty acids, fat. So that's not going to work, because it's too cheap and it's too available. So on the other hand, we can do exercise. And many of us do. I'm in the gym for half an hour a week. <laughs> but that's about it, because I come back and I'm a couch potato. I sit on the couch, <laughs> just watching television, looking at my tablets, and just fumbling with my smartphone with a single finger. And that's also not going to do the trick, I can tell you. Because there is one effective strategy to lose weight in the long term, but that is bariatric surgery. That's the kind of surgery where the surgeon takes out a piece of your intestine, sews up your belly, and that's it. That does work. Because in the long term, you, you, you lose your appetite and you lose body fat. It does work. But of course, it's very costly. And it's meant for the morbidly obese. So you'll be excited to know that there's a very simple way of losing body weight. And just by lowering the, t the central, central heating, lowering the temperature. That can do the trick. <laughs> so what are we doing right now? So how does it work? Well, that's because we have a certain type of fat that's called brown fat. And brown fat is activated by the cold. So this, obviously, is white fat. You know that from liposuction on television, that gushy white, uh, white fluid in the flask? And this is a type of fat that's bad for you, because this is what causes diabetes and heart disease. So the brown fat is located just above the collarbones and along the aorta. And it's actually brown because there are tiny energy factories in there that are brown colored, and they produce heat. For the main function of brown fat is to keep our body temperature constant. So babies are born with quite some brown fat. They're small, but they have a relatively large surface area, and they can lose a lot of heat through the skin. But at the same time, they have underdeveloped muscles, so they can't shiver themselves warm either. So that's why they have a lot of brown fat. But until recently, we thought that we as adults would not need the brown fat anymore, and we don't have it. Until a year or five ago. Because then researchers have found out that we as adults have brown fat, and that we can activate it. So that's a good thing. So researchers all over the world, including myself, are now actively chasing for drugs that activate the brown fat, and therefore you lose body weight and lose risk for diabetes. But it's good to realize that before we have those drugs, 
we can easily entrain, uh, entrain our brown fat to grow and to get more active. It has been shown that if you are uh, subjected to this temperature for only a few hours a day, you already burn fat. And in a few weeks, you have lost body fat, really. So our present to you today is that right now, at this temperature, you're burning 10 milligrams of body fat per minute. Well, 10 milligrams of body fat, that doesn't sound very much. But realize what it can do for you in a year. In a year, you can burn 3 to 5 kilograms of fat. Wow, I think that's impressive. So if you go home, try to refrain for yourself from automatically turning up the central heating. Try to realize what your brown fat can do for you. That it can help you maintain your body, temp uh, your body, um, your body fat uh, low and reduce the risk for type 2, type 2 diabetes and cardiovascular disease. Let brown fat be your calorie killer. Thank you.